Yo. Hey there and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my go-to look. It's just basically the look that I've been wearing on a day-to-day -day basis. So I hope you enjoy it. So to start off, I do have sunscreen on. I just applied my Super Goop Glow Screen and that is why my skin has quite a bit of glow to it. And right now I'm just kind of letting that set. I actually don't use a primer when I use this sunscreen because it does act as a glowy primer, which is really nice. It's like a two-in-one product. For foundation, I'm mixing the Glossier Skin Tint in G5 and the AOA Studio Satin Finish Foundation in the shade Amber. I mix these because the Glossier Skin Tint is just a little deep for my skin. I can wear it alone and lighten it up with concealer, but it's not an exact skin match. And this AOA Studio foundation is a little bit light for me, but it's also a little bit more fuller, fuller coverage. So I like to kind of cut it and make it a little bit more watery with the Glossier Skin Tint. So I just mixed some on the back of my hand. I'm just applying it on the skin. And I'm using my Real Techniques foundation brush to buff it into the skin using very, very light hand. It's storming outside, so sorry if you can hear the thunder out there. And I'm gonna add a little bit more in the areas where I want a little bit more coverage. I have a bit more hyperpigmentation and redness on my cheeks, and then some discoloration here on the sides of my face. Now I'm taking the back of my beauty sponge from Shop Miss A, and just blending out everything, making sure there are no brush marks. Next, I'm going to conceal using the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer in the shade Deep Tan. This is like a recent favorite. It took me so long to really give it a try because I loved my Born This Way so much, as well as the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. And I still love those, but I've been reaching for this pretty much every day. Now I'm gonna let that set for a little bit while I take my Fenty Matchstick in the shade Truffle as a cream contour. And I'm using the same brush that I use to actually blend out my foundation. When I go in the cheekbones, I like to swipe it like this and press it. It just gives that beautiful really soft kind of bronzing and depending on how much sleep I got the night before I may or may not highlight I will do it for the sake of this video and for that I'm gonna use the flower beauty light illusion concealer in the shade medium deep and this is a pretty full coverage concealer so I really don't need much all right now to set everything down I'm gonna use the elf halo glow setting powder in the shade medium I'm really liking this powder, especially for the summer months when I do want to look a little bit more dewy. And I do have dry skin, but I always set my concealer. And this has been a wonderful powder for that because it doesn't take away all of the luminosity that the concealer give you. But I am careful not to take this all over the face because I do want some of that glowiness from the foundation combo and the glow screen. To set my cream bronzer, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Ultra Matte Splendor Bronzer. And this is in the shade what, medium. I'm using my fluffy brush from It Cosmetics. I'm pressing the powder on because I don't want to lift up the cream products underneath. This is a more pigmented product, so you do have to kind of work carefully, but I love it. Now I'm taking this toasted kind of peachy nude blush that I love. This is from Amuse Cosmetics, got this off of Shop Miss A, and it was a dollar. And this is the shade Diva. Like I cannot put this down because it's just like the perfect toasted nude for my skin tone. And it's not too much at all. It's definitely performs like a high-end powder. And the color isn't too pigmented, which is, I feel like, something you usually see from cheaper blushes. Moving on to brows, I've been using just a brow pencil in my brows, and lately it's been the AOA Studio Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Ebony. Um, I do want to order the dark brown shade in this because I do think this is a little bit deep, but not so deep that I can't work with it. But 
I've got to be careful. Not changing the shape of my brow, I'm just filling it in, the areas that are sparse. Just making things look a little bit more full. For the eyes, I'm not going to do much. I'm just taking the same powder bronzer I used to set the bronzer on my face. It takes up on the lid closer to the outer corner. And I'm taking an eyeshadow brush to blend it all over the outside, the outer corner. Adding a bit of definition. I'm built up a little bit more on this side because it wasn't quite where I wanted it. And I'm blending it on the lower lash line as well. Now I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Renaissance Flick Eyeliner. I'm gonna start in the middle of the eye and then go to the outer corner, but I'm not gonna wing it out. I'm simply gonna keep really close to the lash line just to make the lash line appear bigger. All well, that ended up being a little bit thicker than I was going for, but it still looks fine. But now I'm gonna go in the lower lash line with just a pencil eyeliner, and this is one by Wet n Wild. And usually I'll either do a dark brown or a black, and today I'm doing dark brown. Next I'm gonna go in the inner corner and the arch of my eyebrows with this Thrive Cosmetics Brilliant Eye Brightener. And this is the shade Aurora. For my lashes, I'm using the Essence Lash Princess in the False Lash Effect style. This is really good for really fanned out lashes, very long lashes. This is good if you don't like clumpy lashes. This gets them like really straight and defined. And last but not least, I'm going to be using my Glossier Generation G lipstick topped off with my Fenty Gloss Bomb. The Generation G lipstick is in the shade Leo and the Fenty Gloss Bomb is in the original Fenty Glow. All right, guys, well, that completes the look. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you like this video. Please leave a comment down below or give me a thumbs up. I hope you will subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Yo. I have four. I have